up, 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 up. They were have had all nine lifts. Very comfortable opener there for Aaron. That looked good. Three white lights. I feel India is feeling a bigger... Uh, he had a pretty wide stance and... So he's going to have to retake that or... Or move up a little bit if yeah. he is uh, Would be confident. risky, but he'd have to sink it more in his second. And now our final opening attempt for Dario Milicia from Italy. Also taking 245 kilos. It'll be interesting to see how this moves in comparison to the other three lifters who took this weight. Oh, the two lifters, sorry. Yeah, it's, just, it's fine. And it that, moved maybe the best. That was lovely, yeah. <laughs> quite nicely we have a lot of attendance tonight this is really really cool it's a very long competition nearly two weeks so it, uh, now we're in the middle there's a lot of people here which is really exciting Fernando is definitely not out of the picture for the podium but he's gonna have to have a near perfect day to fight his way up there yeah projections are so close between all of them that's uh, Kilos between second and seven. Oh, 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 big effort wow. there. Wasn't it deep enough? I Three think so. There yeah. we go. Three Two white lights. lights. Yeah, and kept his form really well, which is really why it's so much harder and it makes a big difference those couple of inches. Marcos Albaladejo Castro from Spain jumping 10 kilos to 250, moving him into squat gold for the time being, with Militia and Pastorello to follow. That is a wonderful squad, really. That was easy. Yeah, That's was beautiful, really easy. man. What do you put in for your third if you really think after this third, like, I can go 7.5? It, 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 it looks kind of strange. And now Dario Malicia from Italy jumps 10 kilos to 255 to move into squat gold easy. and put him in a great position to fight running. for the gold overall. Hi, Dario. His opener was very easy. Yeah, and he's a great squatter as well. Three, Three white lights, a good four. lift. And that can Aaron Joy Fernandez from India, 240 on the bar. And a perfect example, don't be afraid as a lifter to take the two and a half kilo jump. If he can get you two and a half extra kilos, fantastic. If not, you haven't lost anything. I respect this a lot because some lifters like that I coach, even they say, no, I don't go out for two and a half kilos. Yeah, but it's a pride thing. Especially like if you know it doesn't affect your deadlift much. Like there's obviously some guys that it affect the deadlift and then two and a half might not be worth it. But for some it's not, doesn't. For me, example. Let's see how the 240 moves to Aaron here. Oh, hopefully. Got Astro from Spain. Jumping seven and a half kilos to 257.5 to move himself into squat gold from silver ahead of Milicia. This is a huge squat for his podium chances. They are so close. Yeah, and if he gets this, he secures at very least the bronze. Exactly. In the squat event. Wow. 
And I think he could have been justified in seven and a half was the safe thing to do. Being in now, Dario Melissia from Italy, 262.5 to move from squat bronze into gold and gain seven and a half kilos in his total. His squats have looked so tidy and smooth so far. And if he gets this, he is in prime position for a gold medal overall, at least from prognosis right now. Could change, some people hide their openers. <laughs> Let's see that beautiful squad again. Oh, oh, up, 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 up. Look at that. Oh, wow. What an incredible oh fight for Melissa. Three white lights. That was a perfect. Good lift and takes four goals. 145 kilos. Opening five kilos below his best bench. Choosing to do a self lift off. It eliminates one variable that you cannot control. Yeah. Three white lights. I think he clipped the rack a little bit on the left side on his way up, but didn't seem to cause him any. Now he had a great squat session and now on his personal best. And still in the mix. Yeah, and only seven and a half kilos separates currently sixth and third. Yeah. Oh wow, that was good. A yeah, very comfortable, <laughs> good lift. <laughs> Italy, 160 kilos. We had this yesterday with the 57s as well, like where the like Joya from Lebanon, like she was projected first all over yeah. for the full competition, but she couldn't make lifts, and then she ended up fourth. So, uh, yeah, making lifts is kind of important. <laughs> Okay. Wow, moved very easily. I, yeah, okay, three red lights. That's good. Yeah, I think he did very well. Improved. Yeah, as well as Uluwasin Ula in bronze from the B flight. But Aaron Joy Fernandez from India, 150 kilos to match his personal best. Good lift. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yes. I, I admire his setup actually. It, it looks like it took a long time. Was Alba Ladejo Castro from Spain jumping seven and a half kilos to 157.5? I told him to do 7.5 and he did, so it will be my fault if this doesn't work out. It just shows how we TSG coaches are lined with Jamie putting on 7.5. So now it must work. Come on. Oh yeah. So what would you say for third? 167.5 kilos to move into bench press bronze for the time being, ahead of Fodro. Building his total, currently the favorite for the gold overall. Pastorello falling a little bit behind now, missing that bench and squat. Wow. That looks so efficient. And yeah, but the, the left side really, like, uh, it scares me. Let's see the replay. Still without a bench press on the board. So this is a very crucial lift. 
Aaron Joy Fernandez from India, 155 kilos for his third and final attempt. And look, currently he's in seventh overall, but seven and a half kilos, sorry, 12 yeah. and a half kilos separates seventh and third. Yeah, and his PB is way above his prognosis, so maybe he has a big deadlift to boot. Uh, maybe with a low opener, we don't know. But yeah, this is crucial. Like these five kilos bench press, obviously not the strongest event, but yeah. Oh, a perfect yeah. third attempt there. Helena Decker bench here. Come on, give us these white lights. We want to see them. Castro from Spain jumps two and a half kilo to 160. I think the jump that we we yeah. thought he would or hoped he would take. Yeah, he is five out of five until now. And like, even if he doesn't get it, then unless he makes a big mistake, then he, he just got everything out of the bench press that he could. But I think he can do this. Yeah, that was better than the second. Yeah, three white yeah. lights, a good lift. I still think two and a half was the right call for him. But more importantly, it will add 12 and a half kilos if he gets this to his total and potentially loses 12 and a half if not, which really would open up the doors for the other lifters in this flight. Like we said, big risk, big reward. So, yeah, the weight was not a problem. Three white lights, yeah, paid off. I think he just said to himself, like, I got caught on a technicality, but... Bench press. We have from the B group, Kian Tirado from Canada with 167.5 in bronze. Dario Malicia from Italy in silver. From Italy opening on 265. The contender for the title overall in the best position to do so with... Alba de Lejo Castro, seven and a half kilos behind. And it's as if I'm a psychic. <laughs> wow, yeah. Uh, he is now at a 700 kilo total, four kilos below his current PB in total. He looks like Fabiano Caruana, actually. I hope some of you know who that is. <laughs> your opener, that must be, what, a 40 kilo jump from your last exactly, attempt? Exactly, that, that's what I was thinking. Like, that, that is mm, like very hard to process for the body. Even now. if you have to wait down. Yeah. Marcos Albaladejo Castro from Spain, 275 for his opening attempt. Another contender for podium. This moves him into third overall for the time being. Of course, with Fodril without a deadlift. Wow, these Spanish lifters really know how to open their deadlifts well. Yeah. I think he might have jumped the combine. Five is a huge opener. Indeed. <laughs> I don't have anything to add to that. No, yeah. it just, you know, point yeah. in fact, it is a yeah. big opener. Yeah. Okay, a little bit slow from the bottom, but other than that, it looked very easy. Three white lights, a good lift. The question is, is there another just behind? We have Chris Dario Milicia from Italy, 275 kilos. So he's just making lifts. He is the front runner currently. He just has to build his total. Yeah, and he's in a really good position right now. He, he is a technical, so sound in all three lifts. It's amazing. Yeah. It's, it's a joy to watch, really. Yeah. We'll catapult him from very last, because he doesn't have a total right now, into second overall. Just missed the down command on his openers. Jumped 15 kilos to 290 for a second attempt. His opener was so easy. So easy, yeah. So this feels like less of a risk to me than Fodril's as long as he just listens for that command at the top, but it's still risky, it's a big jump. Wow. Never mind. Yeah. That is, like, he has so much more. I, it looks like it's here so much more. I wonder if he's gonna try and place himself in between 
his opener in the world record, and he's jumped a huge amount here. 27.5. Yeah, that is 27 crazy. 27.5 kilograms. 27 and a half kilos to 310, just two and a half below his personal best. This actually moves him onto the podium overall if he gets this for the time being. And depending on how this moves, you know, he could be a good contender for that yeah. fight. And they knew, they knew what everyone had picked before, so that's probably the play they did to move in podium after a second. But I didn't, didn't really think it was that easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I think he managed to lock that out okay. I'm not sure if there's any damage lift, movement. No. Nope. You can see here with that huge deadlift 3 of 310, Fernandez is leading the See how very close is it at the top with Melissa. Even Fernandez is pulling for the win, it looks like. But right now we'll have to see what Dario Melissa can do to keep that position. And he'll just have to wait and see patiently if he will stay there. 285, more than he's ever lifted before. Come on. You can do this. Come on, it's the last attempt. We give everything. We stay focused. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. move it, move it up. Yes. So reliable as a lifter. Three Perfect. white lights, a good lift. This could be the difference between winning and falling off the podium. It's, that, it's so close. And we've and seen her. So 302.5 kilos to move him from silver overall into gold overall for the time being. I think he got this. I really do. So far, his deadlifts have looked so smooth. They want quiet in the room. 302.5. 10 biggest, kilo above his PB. Biggest lift of his career so far. Oh, and it's not, oh even a not even a question. Not even a question. Could have been his opener. Three white lights. Moves himself into pole position to walk 12.5 kilos. A two and a half kilo oh. jump from his second, which seems a lot more reasonable. <laughs> to keep him in bronze overall. It's quite a serious 27.5 jump, two and a half point jump. But I mean, he's currently in third place. He did everything wrong, and, uh, right. And now two and a half kilo more would actually help him quite a lot. Forcing the hand of the Chilean lifter. Even more than already. And if he misses this, Ryuta Lira is in a good position to pull for bronze, but it doesn't look like he is missing. Wow. Did he get that down command? He did. Three white lights, a good lift, and it yeah, we're seeing the attempt change come in from Rio to with 720 kilos from Italy. Milicia Dario. And crowned world champion for the first time with 720 kilos from Spain. Marcos Alvaradejo Castro. Congratulations to the three of you gentlemen. There's no point standing around. We'll only be showered by more boulders. Ready your horses on the double. <laughs> 